Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alana and I live out of my Honda Accord. If you're curious about how I do this, I do have a whole car camping setup tour. You can check that out in the cards here. But in this video, I'm going to go into detail about how I have an entire kitchen set up in my Honda Accord. Now I know that this looks like a lot, but um, I have everything that I need to cook a nice homey meal if I want to. Sometimes I don't want to, but that's okay. <laughs> Editing Alana, zoom in. So I guess we can start over here. This is my blue jug of dishwater. Um, it's six gallons and I just fill this with regular tap water and use it to wash my dishes. No, I don't have like a sink or a basin or anything like that. I just use the biggest dish that needs to be washed and wash the dishes. <laughs> then I actually keep my drinking water in just these reused gallon bottles that I got from a store. Um, and I like to use the smaller version of the drinking water because then I can just take this in with me to Planet Fitness and refill it anytime I need to. Um, but I'm thinking about switching, having more drinking water, less dishwater, um, because I want to take longer camping trips this season. So if you're interested, subscribe, stay tuned, I'll vlog it. <laughs> then next to the water, I have my ice chest. So no, I'm not fancy enough to have a power station and a fridge, but that's okay because I've actually come up with a really cool system for this. If I can get this out. God, I hate this. See, see, this is why I want a different water jug. It just collapses every time and I just, I'm sick of it. Okay, anyways, the ice chest. So what I did was I got two Tupperware containers that fit stacked inside this ice chest. And then I fill the bottom one with water and I freeze it so that it's a solid block of ice. And then I have this Tupperware on top to hold all of my refrigerated food items. And then that way, one, this ice stays cold for an entire week, which store-bought ice could never. Um, and then also by having everything else in a separate container, it keeps everything dry. So even though this takes up half of the ice chest space and I feel like I don't have that much room for refrigerated food anymore, it actually works out even better because um, now I'm not having to stop and buy ice all the time. So highly recommend this system. Then back here, I actually have a Coleman camp stove, just a single burner. Uh, this is butane and I usually try to keep at least two or three um, spare cans of butane in here. I have another one in here somewhere. Um, but this is like my backup way of cooking. I don't really like using this, um, but it's really helpful to have, especially if I'm camping in one spot for a while and I want to make like, I say angry with these clips. No, if I want to like make myself a nice meal, I can. Um, but as you'll see, it's kind of difficult to get in and out. So oftentimes I just stick to using what's in this little container. So what's in here is basically the bulk of my kitchen supplies and I'm just going to pull them out randomly and you'll see what I have. So starting off, random Hydro Flask with Vine reference stickers. Uh, basically there's no other place for this to go so it goes in there. Next, my Jet Boil. I love, love this thing. Basically it's designed for backpacking. So it's very compressed, like the fuel, like the fuel and everything just fits inside. Um, and this boils water in less than a minute. Um, this is fantastic. I actually use this way more than my stove because it's really good for reheating things as well. It gets really warm really quick and there's a lid versus I have this pot for my stove and there's no lid for it. So um, this is my only thing with a lid, but I use this to boil water to make coffee and instant oatmeal in the morning. And like I said, reheat soups and stuff in the later evening. So love this setup. Plus it's multifunctional because if I wanted to start backpacking, I could just take it with me, you know? Next on the cool fancy appliances, we have a blender. Uh, it's USB rechargeable. And I don't even remember the last time I recharged it because it lasts forever. But I like making protein smoothies in this with maybe fruit that's about to go bad in my ice chest or um, Jetpack actually makes these like little smoothie packets that you can make too. It has like dehydrated fruit and protein powder. Um, so these come in really handy if I'm like on the road somewhere and I need to eat something, but I don't wanna like take time to do that. I just blend it in and drink it. I just drink it straight from this because 
I only have one cup. <laughs> and that one cup is my coffee cup. Um, I found it at a thrift store. I love it. Um, and I usually make coffee. I, last year I used a French press, but this year I upgraded to a little pour over and this is silicone and it collapses all the way down. So it's really, really thin. And I actually take this with me on international travels too, but it's really dirty right now. So I'm, I'm not going to show you more in depth. <laughs> okay. Continuing on, I have this little pouch. I think it used to be used for holding tampons back in the day, but now I use it to hold my cutlery. Uh, right now there's only a fork in here, so I'm not, not too sure where the spoon is. Oh, I think the spoon is in the door of my driver's side because I ate a yogurt the other day. Uh, anyways, I do my dishes regularly, I swear. <laughs> Speaking of dishes, we have some biodegradable dish soap. Uh, if you're going to be doing dishes out in nature, get biodegradable, blah, 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 blah. get biodegradable dish soap. You stupid. That way you don't have to worry about where your gray water goes because it's biodegradable. A wine bottle opener. Ah, a dish sponge and a dish brush. Um, Self-explanatory, really. I have a cutting board. I can't say I've ever actually used it while camping, but I had this cutting board in my apartment in university. So like, it's been well loved. I just don't, I don't cook that in depth in my car, but like I have everything in case I want to. <laughs> Usually what I do is I'll meal prep at like a house sit or a friend's house. And then when I'm on the road, I just like eat leftovers. Um, but sometimes I don't have that option. So it's really nice to be able to cook. So I guess going back to the serious cooking, I do have like a frying pan here. And then I do have some disposable plates if I ever wanted to use a plate instead of the pan. Uh, <laughs> and then the pot that I showed you earlier, uh, one bowl. And then this is a bag full of plastic bags, a plastic bag full of plastic bags. Uh, for when I want to, for when I have garbage that might be smelly and I don't want to just like leave it randomly in my car. Uh, uh, and then I have my life straw, not because I need it in the U.S., but just because I don't know where else to store it in my life. Uh, and I take it when I go on international travels. If you're curious about my international travels, you can check a vlog that I'll link here. But uh, I also have a can opener. It does not work very well, but it, it will get the can open eventually. And that's helpful when you've been eating rice and tuna and green beans for the last year. Oh, there's my spoon. Also down here we have some random Tupperware containers of varying size for if I do have leftovers or I wanna make um, overnight oats, I'll do that um, a lot for breakfast. And I also have a spatula in case I ever decide to have eggs, which I thought I would do more often than I actually do. <laughs> Everything fits in here like very specifically. So if you're wondering why I'm still holding this, it's because I can't put it back until I show you everything else that's in here, including a lighter. I have a knife, which I created a little sheath for out of cardboard and tape. And then I just hold it on with this rubber band and that's worked and I haven't cut myself. So I love that. I also have a dish drying microfiber cloth and that's about it. Okay, now for the hard part, fitting everything back in. Uh, let's see. It's really just this one pan that's difficult. It has to go in a certain way. Everything else I just kind of toss in. Well, nice. Okay, and then if you're wondering how I store dry food, because I showed you my refrigerated food, but dry foods I actually store behind this in this giant crate. Oh, I guess I also have paper towels. This is a very necessary car camping essential that if you don't have paper towels, what are you doing? You're being messy, that's what you're being. Um, so behind the rest of my kitchen, I have a milk crate that has two bags full of my food. Quite honestly, right now they're empty, which is why I'm going to refer you to my car camping foods video. Um, if you're curious about what kinds of foods I take camping with me. And again, if you're curious about how I sleep in this bad boy, uh, be sure to check out the full car tour. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe down below so that you don't miss the next video. I'll see you in the next one.